Good morning and welcome to today's maths class students. So in the previous class we studied about comparing numbers and what are ascending and descending order. Correct. So in today's class we will uh, we'll finish that ch first chapter that is three digit numbers in the last class. So in today's class we will do a quick revision on what all we have done in this chapter. Okay. So we will start with first what we started last time we started with what are two digit numbers right and then we'll move on to seeing what are three digit three digit numbers and the different place values of three digit numbers and we'll see what are comparison and what is ascending order descending order all right so let's start today's class so our first chapter was three digit numbers so now we saw what are the hidden numbers between one to hundred first right we saw what are one and two digit numbers so first we have two after one then here the hidden number under the star that is after seven we have eight then 12 after 12 we have 13 correct then 14 after 14 we have 15 then 21 22 23 after 23 under this smiley we have 24 then 25 26 after 26 we have 27 and after 29 we have number 13 correct then 38 after 38 and between 30 and 8 and 40 what is the number it is 39 then 43 after 43 we have 44 and after 45 we have 46 then after 50 or before 52 we have 51 then 54 and 56 what is the number between 54 and 56 it is 55 okay and then 64 after 64 we have 65 then 66 then after 66 we have 67 68 69 70 then 81 82 after 82 what is the number that comes it is 83 then 85 then after 85 we have 86 then 91 after 91 92 now we have 99 what comes after 99 now 99 is a two digit number it is called the greatest two digit number now when I add 1 to 99, I get 100. 100 is here a 3 digit number and it is called the smallest 3 digit number. Okay. Then we saw that 10 ones make 1 10. Okay. 10 ones together make 1 10. So a group of 10 trucks here makes 1 10. Then we counted 10s and ones. So here 10s and ones. So here the number is 1 and 3. So, 1 is in 10's uh, place and 3 is in 1's place. So, how many 10's are there? We have 1 10's and 3 1's. And here we have 9 and 9. So, 9 10's and 9 1's. Okay, then we saw what's a 3 digit number. So, 3 digit number is a number which have 3 places in the place value chart. That is 100's, 10's and 1's. Correct. So, we have 100's, 10's, 1's. So, we get a 3 digit number by adding... 1 to 99 that is 100 that is the smallest three digit number let's see what is the number formed over here here in one's place i have four blocks in tens place i have one tower of 10 blocks we know that 10 ones make a 10 correct so here i have 10 individual blocks making one tens then here the same we have 100 individual block making one hundreds okay so here the number is uh, we have one hundreds, one tens, and four ones. So the number is one hundred and fourteen. Then we have another example here. So in one's place here, I have five individual blocks. So that only individual blocks together, I have three blocks of tens. So three tens or thirty. Then here I have two blocks, two squares or two towers of hundred blocks each. So that is 100 plus 100, 200. So I have 200, 3 tens and 5 ones, which is nothing but 200 plus 30 plus 5, 235. Okay, then here I have 100 tens and ones. Ones place we have nothing, so that means it's 0. Then tens place here I have 3 tens or 30. Then 100 place I have 3 blocks like this. So each block has 100 individual blocks. So, 100, 100 and 100. So, 300. So, 300 plus 310. So, that is 300 plus 30, 330. 
then we saw what is ascending order and descending order ascending order numbers are said to be in ascending order when they arrange from the smallest to the largest number so these numbers that are shown on the screen are arranged in ascending order so 5 is the smallest then 9 13 17 and 21 so these are arranged in ascending order so smallest to largest is called ascending order then descending order so numbers are said to be in descending order when you arrange them from the largest to the smallest number these numbers 25 is the greatest then 21 17 13 and 99 9 is the smallest among these so we have arranged the numbers from the greatest number to the smallest number so this is in descending order so largest to smallest is called descending order then we saw comparing numbers so 37 is less than 80 right so we put this sign so 61 is greater than 8 and 3 is equal to 3 then what is place value place value is the value of each digit in a number for example in 35 here 3 is in tens place so it means 3 tens is the place value of 3 or 30 30 is the place value of 3 in this now however the 5 in 506 represents 5 hundreds or 500 so 5 in 506 now 5 is in hundreds place so how many hundreds are there 500 are there or the place value of 5 is 500 then we saw this example right so we have 8 ones 4 tens and 500 so place value of 5 is 500 4 being in tens place is 40 and 8 being in ones place is 8 so the number is 548 then here in ones place i have 3 so place value of 3 will be 3 only place 6 6 is in tens place so place value of 6 will be 6 tens or 60 2 is in hundreds place so place value of 2 will be 200 okay so the complete number is 263 then here 35 3 is in tens place so 3 tens or 30 5 is in ones place so 5 is the place value then this is a three digit number 235 now 5 here is in 1's place so 5's place value is 5 only 3 is in 10's place so 3, uh, 3 is 30 place value of 3 is 30 and 2 is in 100's place so place value of 2 is 200's or 200 then 386 6 is in 1's place 8 is in 10's place and 3 is in 100's place so place value of 3, uh, 3 is 300's three or 300 8 is 8 tens or 80 and 6 ones is 6 okay so place value of 3 is 300 8 is 80 and 6 is 6 so this number is 386 then 500 7 tens and 9 ones so place value of 5 is 500 7 is 7 tens or 17 9 ones is 9 so this number is read as 579 then last example here what we saw was 928 so 9 is in hundreds place 2 is in tens place and 8 is in ones place so place value of 9 is 900 2 is 2 tens or 2 uh, 20 and 8 is 8 okay so this number is read as 928 and then we saw how to compare numbers first equal to so here i had two sets of balloons right so in the first set i had 1 2 3 4 5 6 balloons in the second set also we had 1 2 3 4 5 6 balloons so both the sets have 6 balloons each means they have the same number of balloons so they are equal so this is the equal to sign then we had less than now here i have how many bats 1 2 3 4 5 bats and here i have how many balls 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 balls so there are 5 bats and 7 balls so the number of bats is less than the number of balls so this is the less than sign right and then we had greater than what is greater than here i have 6 apples and 4 oranges so number of apples is greater than the number of oranges so this is the greater than sign okay so and then i also told you all how to put a sign okay so what you can do the numbers which are greater for that you can put two dots so number of apples is greater so for apples you can put two dots and orange is only one uh, orange is less so we'll put one dot for orange and then join those 
points okay then comparison of three digit numbers how will you compare three digit numbers first what you'll do is compare the numerals in the hundreds place of both the numbers so 642 and 462 are the example I've taken so we'll compare the numbers in hundreds place in 642 in hundreds place we have 6 and in 462 in hundreds place I have 4 so here 6 is greater than 4 correct so 642 will also be greater than 462 then the next rule if the numerals in hundreds place is same then compare the tens place in both the numbers so in this example here 524 and 542 uh, the first rule is to compare hundreds place so here but hundreds place both are 5 so we can't compare it so we'll move on to the next place that is the tens place here in tens place both the in first number it is 2 and second number is 4 hundreds place is 5 is equal to 5 tens place in first number is 2 second number is 4 but 2 is less than 4 so 524 is less than 542 then the last rule was if the numerals in both the hundreds and the tens place are the same then compare the numerals in ones place so then what we did in this example 819 and 814 in hundreds place we have 8 so 8 is equal to 8 in both the numbers then in tens place when you move on to tens place both the numbers have 1 so that is also equal so we'll move on to ones place in the first number ones place has 9 and the second number has 4 so 9 is greater than 4 so 819 is greater than 814 okay so this was comparing of numbers so this is what we studied in first chapter correct so we'll do a quick assessment on what we have done and do a quick uh, few problems on these topics okay so first here fill in the boxes with number names of the following numerals okay so first we have 354 that is what is the number name 300 because 3 is in hundreds place so 300 and 5 is in tens place so 54 okay 354 then what's the next one 508 so 500 because 5 is in hundreds place and 0 is there in tens place so we'll just write 508 okay e i g h t 8 so 508 then 790 so how will you write this in numerals 790 so this is 790 then last one 832 so that is 800 32 so 832 okay so we wrote all the answers now what we'll do we will submit the answers okay so submit okay so that is 354 then 508 okay 790 and the last one was 832 correct 832 so then we will submit so our answers are okay 354 508 790 and 832 so answers are correct okay so the next one I'll, uh, fill in the blocks blacks boxes with numerals of the following numbers okay so 654 so 6 5 4 okay then 906 9 in hundreds place now and 6 is there 6 means it is in ones place and 100 tens place is 0 so 9 0 6 then 829 so 8 in hundreds place 2 in tens place and 9 in ones place so 8 to 9 780 so 7 8 is 0 there is nothing in ones place so all answers are correct okay so next one fill in the uh, boxes with numbers that come just before the given number so you have to fill in these boxes with the numbers that come just before these numbers so before 543 what comes 542 then 761 just before 761 what is the number 760 
then before 890 we have 889 correct so we'll submit see are all answers are correct then fill in the boxes with numbers that come just after the given number so here i have 456 just after 456 what we have we have 457 then 930 after 930 we have 931 and after 659 we have 660 okay so answers are correct again then fill in the boxes with the number that comes in between the given numbers okay so you have to see which numbers come in between so 542 and 544 what is the number that comes in between 543 375 377 so that is 376 749 and 751 so 49 50 51 so 750 okay then 838 840 so 38 39 and 40 so 839 okay so these are our answers now click on the greater number in each set of numbers so you have to click on the greatest number so which is the greatest number among 213 523 314 and 248 it is 523 so we click on that okay then 768 143 125 241 768 is the greatest then 127 148 131 265 now all these 265 is the greatest number then 842 428 248 and 482 so 842 is the greatest okay so these are all correct and then click on the smallest number in each set of numbers so what is the smallest in first one 213 523 314 248 yes it is 213 so click on that and then among this 768 143 125 and 241 so we have 125 then 127, 148, 131 and 265. The smallest is 127. Then 842, 428, 248 and 482. So 248 is the smallest. Okay. So our answers are correct. Then three digit number. Fill in the boxes with numerals to represent the given numbers in their standard form. So 800 plus 1. So when you add it, you get 800. 1801 so 300 plus 50 plus 4 gives you 354 354 then 40 plus 3 43 and 700 plus 4 704 so your answers are correct next count the beads on the abacus and fill in the block boxes with numbers so in hundreds place we have zero so nothing then in tens place how many beads are there three and in one's place we have four so three tens and four ones gives us 34 okay then again hundreds place is zero tens place we have one bead one's place we have one two three four five beads so one tens and five ones gives you 15 okay then hundreds place hundreds place here has five beads so five hundreds plus one tens plus two one so that is five hundred and twelve last one now hundreds place is one so one hundreds tens four tens plus three ones so that number is one hundred and forty three so submit see all your answers are correct okay then next one uh three digit numbers now here you have to select less than greater than or equal to sign so 429 and 924 429 is smaller than 924 641 and 781 641 again is smaller than 781 598 and 985 again it is smaller 881 and 188 it is greater 881 is greater than 188 555 and 555 both are equal so equal to sign 212 and 121 212 is greater than 121 okay so answers are correct then now drag each number to arrange the set of numbers in ascending order so here 
216 is the smallest so it will be first then 264 okay then 7 uh, then we have 387 and 784 and 846 so this is for your audience that so to just drag so 201 is smaller so we'll bring that here then next is 364 then 540 713 826 then among this which is the smallest 386 only is the smallest then we have 495 then 614 641 and 676 and last 111 is the smallest then 177 then 717 then 771 and 777 okay see all the answers are correct then last one drag each number to arrange each set in descending order okay so first descending order greatest is 947 only then we have 642 then 500 and 642 then we have 587 354 and 119 so this is arranged in descending order so which is the greatest here 871 is the greatest so it will come first then 117 is the least so it comes last then 171 then 718 so 871 718 717 171 and 117 now here which is the greatest 854 is the greatest then 654 then 454 then 254 and 154 okay then here 672 is the greatest number then 547 541 and then 474 and 382 okay submit so this was a quick revision on what we have done till today okay so uh, continue in the next class today all right thank you